What's up, everyone? So diving into a topic again, and this topic has to do with how you judge your training days. And this is something we've all probably ran into before, and that is judging a your training success for like a cycle or um, a phase that you're in based on one day and even one lift sometimes. So what do I mean? Well, I've had times where I've been training and I might have had four, five, six great training sessions in a row, making progress, getting better. And then I have one day that's bad, maybe even one lift that's bad. And all of a sudden, psychologically, I feel like my training is all wrong. But it's more like my mindset's all wrong than it is my training. But I see this time and time again where we judge our progress, either myself or who we're working with, based on just one lift one day. For example, you might be trying to get a PR today. You might have it set up so you're going to do your best five sets of whatever or one top set. And you might lift and you don't hit the results you want to hit. Even though the previous six training days have all been some of your best days, you may go, man, like that training cycle was a bust. No, your mindset wasn't correct. Because we cannot look at gains based on how we perform at our best all the time. Because sometimes our most progress comes from raising our worst days up. So it's so easy to think about, man, like this is a bad training day. I didn't hit my numbers, blah, blah, blah. But really, it's a positive day because even on a day where you're down physically and mentally, you're actually performing better than you would have otherwise. And so this is such a common issue, right? We judge our whole training based on one poor performance. I've done this time and time again. I've gone to the gym to go jump and work out. So I've gone to go maybe um, work on some dunks or just have fun or whatever, go play a pickup game. And I'll go and I go and play. I'm like, man, I'm exhausted. I'm not feeling well. My legs feel slow. My training must suck. So I, I go back to the whiteboard and I redraw my whole training program. Why? Because I had one bad day? It doesn't make any sense. You can't judge a whole training program based on one day. Maybe you go into bench and you're feeling great. And you're going to go try and go for 315 or whatever your new PR might be. And you just miss it. Then all of a sudden you go, man, my training's all off, man. Something's totally wrong. No, that's not the case. Especially the numbers leading up to it were showing that you were making progress, that you were getting better. Don't judge your training based on one day. And this is a problem I have personally run into many a time. I judge my training strictly based, my whole week, month, cycle, performance, phase, whatever I'm in, based on just one poor performance. And that's so silly. Maybe that's the competitive athlete in me. But it really is a dangerous mindset because what that leads to is constantly trying to find a solution to that one bad day. And so you start bouncing around from program to program, left, right. And next thing you know, you make less progress and less actual progress too because your consistency has gone way down. So at the end of the day, don't try and judge your training just based on a single like lift or session. Think about it as a whole. Think about your gains in over a period of time. Actually look at it and think about why you might not have performed well that day. Were you tired? Did you not eat well the night before? Maybe it was just an off day. That happens because we cannot make progress linearly. We don't make gains every day. It goes up and down and back and forth. And some days you feel horrible and some days you feel great and you feel like Superman. You can lift the house and some days you don't feel like you can lift anything at all. But the point is I'm trying to get at is we need to look at how we ourselves are judging ourselves. And sometimes that mindset can get in the way of our actual progress because you might be on a great training plan and one bad day sets you back mentally. It didn't set you back physically. It didn't set you back performance wise. It has no reflection on the entirety of the program you just did, all the wonderful progress you have been making. It's simply, simply is just a bad day and all of a sudden you're taking it out of context. And so I don't know how many times I've done this. I mean, probably upwards of 25 times, 30 times I've gone in and had a bad day. And, oh man, my month must be my training. I need to reevaluate what I'm doing in the weight room. I need to reevaluate. And then I just balance from program to program. Then I put pressure on myself to, you know, find a better program, try and mix things up. Don't I didn't do things that don't make any sense. Um, and so think about progress 
realistically over a month, reflect on some of your good days and some of your bad days. Are your bad days better than maybe some of your old bad days? That's progress. Sometimes your bad day is better than your previous best day, but because they are the same, you judge your abilities simply as equal and no progress has been made, but you don't even contextualize that given day. And so time and time again, I see this personally myself, I've seen with others as well, people who bounce around, why did I make this progress in six weeks and five weeks and three weeks? Why don't I have my six pack abs now? Or even with like habits of nutrition and eating, oh, I had one bad meal and now I'm set behind for months and months. No, that's not the case either. So these are things you can think about, hopefully that uh, you don't make the same mistakes I do. Um, because ultimately how we judge our program is how we have the ability to assess its effectiveness and determine whether or not it's actually working. And if we're not judging its effectiveness appropriately, then we'll never know if we ourselves are making progress in the way that we hope so and think so. So just a little tip, word of advice, something that I've run into and something that hopefully you can learn from and make a difference to you in some of the uh, uh, your training goals that you have going forward. So I appreciate you guys listening. If you have comments or questions, let me know and I hope you all enjoyed.